Since I've been little, I've been afraid of places in the dark. Cities, forests, and all of those things for rational reasons. Drug addicts, murderers, you know. Things that would more likely not happen, but they have a small possibility of happening. About 10% give or take. I mean, I've been out there on my own and it hasn't happened to me yet, but you know the fear is out there. 10% that may happen to you one day. Another rational fear people have is home intruders during the night. Now, again, it's possible, maybe give or take, depending on crime rates, and also just other percentages. If it's a high crime rate, maybe 20 to 30%. If it's low, 5 if it's low, 5 to 10%. However, the ones that get us the most the irrational ones. Phobias and things that are unexplained instill some fear into us, even if it's a little or a lot. Spiders, heights are the most common phobias, but there are others like my fear of the dark when I'm in wide open spaces. The other is the unexplained, and that has many has made many people think. There are many stories of video games opening portals with demons and monsters that are too widespread nowadays to even having game space in them. The problem now, there is like 0.0009% of these stories being true. I mean, how could people think that these stories are real in some ways? It's so irrational and probable they would happen. I mean, come on, think people. The Slender Man or Jeff the Killer, they're probably just stories. If they're true, well, the odds are against us. However, Jeff the Killer is just enough murderer that people have rational fears about. The fear of death. Everyone has it. Maybe less than others, but it's present in all human bodies and emotions. The chance to die can give thrills to people. Bungee jumpers, skydivers, even magicians. But normal people like you and me, we don't want to die, young or old. But what are the chances of it not alive? It's impossible, or very improbable. A one in a billion percentage. No one will ever be immortal. No man, no machine, no animal, and no plant. Everything has to die one day. Even I have accepted that fact. Not that I want to die. No, I'd hate to die. 100% chance I would not want to die. I want to live until my old age and live until the day I die, old and decrepit. No, it's a hard way to go, but what if I wanted a family? A son or daughter, grandkids? Even old age would give me. Everything old age would give me. Well, maybe not. Something may happen. It's all in the percentages. They are part of life. Getting a girl depends on variables. Vary these percentages at the competition that varies these percentages too. Everything, and I mean everything, relies on chance. Imagine if there was no chance to win. Well, one, we wouldn't have gambling. But if there was no chance or luck, we'd be all be the same. Living monotone lives, no jobs. However, chance. This does bring elitism also known as people that are luckier than others. I've never classed myself as a lucky man. To be honest, it may come to a surprise to you. I'm not even a gambling man. But chance is another thing that makes us human. It makes us very different. It makes us better than others. It makes us better than the people that are lucky. Better than... <coughs> oh, sorry, I got a bit out of hand there. Anyway. It also varies on the percentages of life, living, death, survival, or based on them. Whether you win a game or good at a game, it helps your percentage chance of winning. Practice makes perfect. Problem here is no one's a hundred percent perfect. Everyone has deformities, fears, disgusts, hatred, even secrets. 
I don't want to know about secrets. I don't care about them, to be honest. If you tell them 70% of the time, the person won't... You tell, won't tell someone else, but that 30%. The ones that will tell you a secret, everything gets ruined. And calm. Calm yourself. Don't you let yourself get carried away now. Alright. That's a problem. A hundred people have lied. A hundred percent of people have sinned in one way or another. Just like a hundred percent of us drink water. There are traits of humanity that make us imperfect. That's why in story statistics, everything is perfect. One plus two equals two. Zero percent means no chance of happening. While one hundred percent means it always happen. And fifty percent means halfway between the two. I have been... I have given up on perfection. I'll never be good at statistics. Nobody's perfect. Nobody. Even if they say they are. They don't deserve to say that. Nobody does. Everyone is liars. Everyone is a sinner. Everyone will die. Whether I bring it down on you. Or you just don't believe the statistics of state, fate and chance. The world is imperfect. Are you perfect? Do you believe you are perfect? No one is perfect. You think you're perfect, don't you? The brain always thinks that it's perfect. And this is its great weakness. The one that deems your fate. So let me show you how perfect you are. Right, don't forget Rebel Cat to the planet so for us to hit that like, favourite, subscribe button. I am... Um, just a new channel that I uh, likes to make you happy in that and this has been one of my videos that you've been watching and if you've liked it like favorite subscribe like I just said and join me in today also if you're another youtuber I love collaborations I'd love to play with other people if you want me to play with you not in any sense like that but you know what I mean <laughs> but um, just ask I'm happy to and yeah I'm also if you liked it comment give your opinions on the video I would love to hear your um, opinions on the videos and I think I'll let you to leave you to rock out to the music see you later bye